This video is going to look at um, finding the perimeter of composite figures. And the first thing I want to talk about is what is a composite figure? Well, the word composite means um, made up of, of more than one thing. Um, and so when we're talking about a composite figure, we're talking about a figure that's made up of um, different shapes. So here we can see we have a rectangle, and over here is another rectangle. So essentially we're putting two rectangles together to get um, this shape. So we're going to be looking at composite figures, and we're going to be finding perimeter today. All right, so here's our first composite figure that we're going to work with. You can see that it is made up of a, um, here's a rectangle, and then over here is a square. So this shape is made up of um, a square and a rectangle, and that's why it's called a composite figure. All right, so we need to find the perimeter of this composite figure, but we have a little, a uh, bit of an issue in that we don't know this side length, AF, and we don't know this side length, DC. Um, so before we can find the perimeter, we have to um, find those side lengths. Um, because remember, perimeter is the measure around the outside. Peri, meaning around, meter meaning measure. So let's find those two missing side lengths so that we can find the perimeter. All right, so let's start by finding side CD. Um, the first thing I wanna show you is if I take this side length AB and I were to slide it down, okay, um, that's going to give me part of the measure of DC. And if I take um, a, uh, let's see here, EF, and I slide it down, that gives me the other part of DC. So if I'm looking at a part whole bar model, okay, do we know the whole measure of, oops, one second here. Do we know the whole measure of DC down here? No, we don't. That is our question mark. Um, and now we know there's two parts to DC. This green part is the first part. And remember, we slid this green part down from AB. So we know that AB is eight yards. So we know that part of DC is um, eight yards. And the other part is this EF that we slid down, that orange part. And we don't know what EF is, so we do have to do a little problem solving there too. Um, but we do see that, or we know that this shape is a square, right? And we know that a square has four equal sides. And so, if we um, look and see that ED is three yards, and now that I look a little bit more carefully, I see that they give me that length is three yards. Okay, we essentially just slid that three yard measurement down. Then we know that the other part of that line segment DC is um, three yards. So. Uh, three yards plus eight yards would give me a total amount of 11 yards. So now I know that DC is 11 yards. So I've solved that one side length. All right, now let's tackle finding the length of um, AF highlighted here in yellow. Um, so again, if I slide that side length over, that yellow part, um, I can see that that is part of the side BC. And if I slide line segment ED over, 
I can see that's the other part of um, BC. And I know, if I'm looking at a part whole model here, I know the whole side length of BC is 12 yards. They give that to me. And the yellow part I moved over, um, AF, that's my question mark. So I don't know that part. But the blue part I slid over, line segment ED, I can see is three yards. They do give that part to me. So because I know the whole and I know one part, I can figure out what the other part is by simply subtracting. 12 minus three is nine. So that missing side length is nine yards. Okay, so now that I have all the missing side lengths, um, I can find the perimeter. I'm just gonna simply add the <coughs> lengths of the sides. So I have um, eight plus 12 plus 11 plus three plus three plus nine. And there I've got them all. I think that's a helpful strategy, by the way, when you're adding perimeter of composite figures to sort of either mark off the units as you write them in your list. I should have written that there. Um, so you can keep track of, um, you don't, you know, you don't make any mistakes as far as adding goes. So let's add these together. Okay. 8 plus 12 is 20. 11 plus 3 is 14. And 3 plus 9 is 12. Um, this is just the strategy I'm going to use to add these. Um, of course, there's many ways you can add a, a list of numbers together. Um, I got 46 yards. We'll just double check that that's correct. And it is. So um, 46 yards would be the perimeter of this composite figure. Let's look at another one. Okay, this composite figure, it looks like, is made up of two um, rectangles. And so um, sometimes it's helpful to know that, and the page was kind of bent, so it's not going to be exact. Um, but then you know, you know, four right angles, opposite sides, equal length. Um, we can use some of those things that we know about rectangles to help us find um, missing angle measures, missing um, side lengths. So let's get going here. All right, it looks like we need to find the missing side length for BC, and we're gonna need to find the missing side length for CD. So let's find those missing side lengths because once we have those side lengths, we'll be able to find, oops, I was gonna circle that. Um, we'll be able to find the perimeter. Okay, so let's start with side length BC. We don't know that measure, but I can see that BC, if I slide it over here, that's gonna be part of AF. And if I take line segment DE and slide it over, that's the other part of AF. And using a part whole model, I can see that the whole length of um, AF over here, the whole length is nine meters. And so now I have, I know it's broken down into two parts. The first part was that yellow part that I slid over, line segment BC, and that was our question mark. We don't know the measurement of side length BC. But the other part we slid over was that red part, and that was three uh, meters. So I know the whole AF is nine. Part of that whole is three meters. Now we can easily find the other part by subtracting. So nine minus three is six. So that missing side length BC 
is six meters. All right, let's find the missing side length now for um, CD, okay? I kind of like what they do here in that they show you that if you were to um, slide CD up here, it would make a full side length with FE. And we know that um, opposite side lengths in rectangles have equal length measures, right? I'm gonna just highlight them both in red. So because these are opposite side lengths, we know that, um, that they're gonna have equal measures. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on my part whole model because I see that the whole side length, um, FE, is 16 meters. They give me that down here. And now I'm gonna to look to see what parts I know. So I know that um, a B up here is part of that measure, and a B is four meters. Um, the part I'm looking for, uh, CD, remember we took that CD and we slid it up beside there, that's our unknown part, right? That's marked with a, a question mark here. So that's our unknown part. But we can find it by subtracting because um, 16 minus 4 is 12. So we know that missing part is 12 meters. So now that we know that missing part, we knew this one was 6, this one was 12. Um, now we can find the perimeter by simply adding all the side lengths together. So um, we have 4 plus 6 plus 12 plus 3 plus 16 plus 9. Again, do you see how I use that strategy? I highlighted the sides, but if you want to cross off the measurements as you add them to your list of numbers you're adding, that would be a smart strategy too. And for me, it just works better to combine the numbers um, before adding, and then I just add from there. Um, if that works for you, great. If not, then just add the numbers as, you know, counting up, whatever works for you. Talking and counting did not work for me, <laughs> so I had to pause to think there. All right, so... If I were looking at the perimeter of this composite figure, it looks like it's going to be 50 meters as I add those side lengths all together. So when you're finding the area of a composite figure, remember to first look at what are the shapes that make up that figure and what do you know about um, those shapes. Um, then look to see if you have any missing side lengths if you do, you're going to first need to find those, and then after you've found the missing side lengths, you can add all the lengths together to find the perimeter, because remember that perimeter means the measurement, peri, or sorry, meter means measure, um, the measure around a shape, and peri means around, meter means measure.